because I know you tattooed him on his back, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I, I can imagine that there had to be some incredible conversations in there. You know, the whole can't stop, won't stop mentality. You yeah, know. I mean, Diddy, Diddy's an inspiring guy, man. And uh, he, he's really like, I've, I've never really experienced... Um, I never even talk about this stuff, like honestly, but I'll talk about it with you guys because yeah, as long as you don't mind, I don't. I just you know. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't ever do it because I just find it. Um, I just never want to say the wrong thing against these people or anything, you know, like it, you know, against like Diddy or anyone that's a celebrity or whatever. But you know, Diddy was really inspiring. He, he kind of showed me, without talking, uh, what really is like achievable. Mm -hmm. And I think when you get into the rooms with certain people you see how they function and you see what's the possibilities of, of what's out there. And I watched this guy, I went to tattoo him. Right. And I was doing two horses, like on, on each shoulder. This was before I did his back and I was at his house. And, uh, dude, there was like the main person for Deleon tequila, uh, the main person for, or for, um, what else does he own? Deleon, uh, Ciroc. Ciroc. Uh, yeah bad boy there was somebody from sony there like a high up and then there was um sean john and then revolt tv wow. so these are two companies right Everybody, yeah dude and, and you know what the craziest thing because i was tattooing him in his bedroom is it was like they were showing ads like of of uh deli on tequila like they were like which one you think and they were like put it on the floor while he was getting tattooed and his son comes in and his son's like hey dad i gotta talk to you and it's like in his house you know and he's like everybody out and so everybody gets out wow. and he's like nico you can stay keep tattooing and he he full-on had a dad moment where it was like he was a dad dude and he it like work wasn't even didn't even exist in that moment wow he took as much time as he needed with his son and as soon as his son walked out the door everybody back in so everybody came back in and i was like wow man like i never even fathomed the thought that like you could be a great father and still run these multi-million dollar businesses on your terms in your house on your fucking time dude and oh, wow. and, and then live his life the way he wanted to live mm. it, it was mind-blowing to me because i was like oh it's achievable it, mm. it's like when you see someone paint or tattoo and it's real like you watch the process and right. it, it looks unbelievable online but then you see it and you're like oh yeah, I could do that. Exactly. That's kind of where my mind went, where it was like, holy shit. And, th and then I believe en energy attracts each other, right? Like, mm -hmm. I do believe that I was in that room for a reason. I I'm around him for a reason. Yes. And many people that I've met, I've been around for a reason. And, and yeah. I've been very fortunate to, to experience these types of people with that type of mentality where it's very high functioning. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it's crazy to me. It, it, I feel very lucky for that. That's, that's amazing. And that's what I said. I, I figured like, how would that not rub off? And I love, yeah. I love how you're saying he did it on his own terms. Like as yeah. soon as you said, he kind of kicked everybody out. It's like, you know, as a parent, you know, as we are, you know, we're all parents. We know what that's like. We know, you know what I mean? So that's amazing. You know, yeah, it was, it was so, I was impressed by it. And, and I've seen that with every type of client I've tattooed like that. I recently tattooed a guy, his name's Evan Metropolis. And it sounds like like a comic book like right. Was my first thought, right? <laughs> but this guy, he owns. Uh, he used to own. Uh, well, he owns Arrowhead Water right now, mm -hmm. and he owns. He used to own Vaps Blue Ribbon, and um, he his brother and him own the Playboy Mansion now. Oh and gosh. this guy's forty years old, forty one years old, you know, and he's he's a multi billionaire. And, and to be around this guy, it, I'm impressed by him. I mean, he's a smart dude, and if you seen him on the street, you wouldn't think of any different between you and I and uh, just to see these this level of the world to be from I mean honestly the the bottom floor like I'm not from anywhere privileged mm -hmm. and so to, to be in these rooms to see these lives to see what's achievable I mean maybe they've had different lives but in my mind I think okay anything's achievable Mm. And uh, it really opens my eyes to what is possible in, in, in this world. Yeah. And so I think that's, I don't know. I, I, I have no idea. Maybe there's some of that that helps me out with opportunity and stuff, but it's, it's, I'm super fortunate. And it's been 
decades of hard work and just consistency, you know? It, it's yeah, been, I definitely don't think it's just you being lucky from what I see. You know, I can, I can see it, you know, you might not be able to experience what maybe your outsider or your friends are seeing you. To me, yeah. I've just always seen you as extremely driven. 